Hello from sunny Cyprus. Welcome to the lodge, guys. Please click on the subscribe button if you're not already a lodger. Just wait for Nick to get ready. And we're going down for breakfast. Nick says he's not eating any breakfast today, though. What we had last night, I'm never eating again. We didn't vlog yesterday because we wanted a, a, a day just to chill without thinking about vlogging. Um, but I wish I had vlogged last night because we had a beautiful, beautiful Cypriot meze. It was, forget the stuffness for a second, though. The food was beautiful. It was, but we actually missed it, of course, because we were that stuffed. If you never heard what, if you never heard of a meze before, it's kind of uh, a Cypriot tapas. tapas, yeah. And they brought the, the starters out, and we kind of forgot that they were just starters. It was like, plates and plates and plates full. I did actually take some photos, actually. So here you go. So that was starters, and we ended up eating all that because it was so so nice. Thinking that was a meal. Yeah, and then afterwards we thought, hang on, right, I think there's a second course, and then this came out, and again it was as well as drinks. Yeah, drinks too. Again though, it was so so nice. The beef stefano was amazing. So we obviously felt that we had to eat something, we couldn't just leave all that. We didn't eat it all, but we did eat a lot. Um, and then we said to them, sorry, can you just skip the desserts, we can't eat anymore. Um, and then we went for some cocktails. And I was up all night, most of the night. I woke up as well, sat up, Nick was already up, because I was so stuffed. I still uh, feel stuffed now. I'm only having French toast and coffee. Oh, so you're having some breakfast now? Maybe just a lime stomach. <laughs> But you know, we, we can't fault the food. Absolutely amazing. <gasps> brought me some glasses. And you haven't brought any others. Cheap, cheap glasses. They'll go back together. It was it well, well, they'll be going back to shop. Uh, so it's another beautiful morning here. It's half past nine. We've had a little bit of a line. Uh, I think my mum and dad are coming down to join us today to sit on some uh, beach lounges. So. Ever since we got burnt the other day, I'm like a red lobster, which as you know from previous vlogs, if you're a lodger, I'm usually extremely, extremely sun smart. I was very, very sun stupid the other day. I went in the pool with no sun cream on thinking I'd be fine for 10 minutes and now I'm like a lobster. Not good. So ever since we got burnt, we've stayed out of the sun, haven't we? Kind well, of. We were in it all day yesterday afternoon. Yeah, but um, you're just stripping me off the camera. <laughs> I want to show how red you are. You're even redder than me. Not that red now. That's not bad. Right. Um, let's so go and have coffee. We've got three days left. In fact, we've got four days. We've not going out feel like we're here half the time we've been here. And we've got to say, lodgers, oh, we've missed being abroad so much. We've, we've, I think we've fallen back into it so easy, haven't we? Yeah. Easily. And Leeds like, already said, should we go to Nuki next week? When next we month. Back. Next month. You said next week? No, next month, I said. Might not be sunny next month. Right, let's go down for some breakfast. Right, come on. Let's go for breakfast. Have you got the key card? I have, yeah. Have you got yours? Well, there's no. no point. No. Right. Unfortunately, there's not much um, filming during the day that I can do because the minute we go it. out, no, the minute we go out, the camera steams up. Right, so let's see how far we get out before it's steamed up. There we go. Can't even get outside. It's steamed up? Yep. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's a better view of you. Can't see you. It's acclimatized. It's too late, I've had breakfast now. Looks like you've had breakfast to me. Looks like you've had sausages and danishes. No, I've just put them on there just in case. So we're just saying that every single day of the year while we're all sat at work doing our day-to-day -day lives, this exists and there's people sat where we're sat now, aren't they? Just having holidays and it's like, it's surreal trying to put it into perspective. How much food do you have to go through every day? About what you've just eaten ten, times ten. Being a gamut. Well that was quick. Oh, it's nice and cool and in Flying busy. So we've got some plans, haven't we, for today now? We've, uh, my mum and dad's had a car, so we're going to go out somewhere. Where are we going? Um, I don't know, but I'm not sure on this side of the food at all. Well, we'll do that on this hotel tour. Uh, things like little things and weird things and yogurts and food, cereal. food, food, toast, food, Bread. food, food, food. Fruit, which obviously we've not been anywhere near. Food. We well, didn't even know how to fruit bar. Food, 
food. Food. Cheeses and things. Suffice to say, I'm with food. So this is the little kid buffet. But we, we are gonna do we are gonna do a separate tour of our um, hotel. Both daytime and nighttime, aren't we? Yeah. So we're off back to the room now to get showered and changed because his mum and dad are already in the car and they're on the way up to Thank meet you. us. Cheers, bye. They're on the way up to meet us. Thankfully we've got a car with aircon. Oh look at that. That's gonna be my dinner later. Cinnamon apple pie. Oh, what do things like that? Oh, I'm having a snack. I'm not having a full meal. So anyway, back to the room. Nick, I want to go on that pirate boat. Go on then. I want to go on that pirate boat. Go on then. Looks like the one from Goonies. We might go on that tomorrow. Hey, you guys. What do you think? No. Hmm? Why not? Because you can go on a boat today, but the latchy. Well, maybe. We're in the car. We've got a Nissan Note with aircon. Okay. My phone is broken. Nobody cares. It's a good job you brought yours, because I care. And we're, we're going to the Blue Lagoon now, which is 40 kilometres away. 40 kilometres away. Near Polis and Lachi? Yeah. Apparently it's like crystal blue water. You can get boat trips out, but you can actually drive there. Um, I googled it and found the beach where you can park, and then you can go in and have a swim. Dip. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Right, we've just booked onto a Blue Lagoon cruise. We're going on a big boat. It's absolutely baking here, it's 33 degrees. And I can't wait to get on the boat, get undercover, take my hat off and just relax. And then we're gonna go swimming when we get to the Blue Lagoon. <sighs> so we're going on the Blue Lagoon 2, which is there. And we're in a place called Lachi. And then we get on this boat and it goes to different stops along the way and uh, then it gets to the Blue Lagoon where we can get off and have a swim. That's the Blue Lagoon 1 ship or boat, whatever you call it and that's the Blue Lagoon 2 which we're off on. Oh, it's warm, isn't it? It's too warm. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Heat. Yeah, but the, hopefully a breeze when we're out to sea. Now they're keeping us in heat and all. Let us on, let us on. Oh, that's is cooler now, isn't it, on board? It's not nice, this. It's, it's nice really and breezy, it's beautiful. Yeah, we all are, we're just not all moaning about it. Well, I like to moan, so. Don't we know it? So we explain to everybody his little drama this morning that we didn't vlog. No. We took the car almost up to the bay where we're going to go swimming in this boat and it turned into a dirt track. His dad almost had a heart attack. Yeah, the car wasn't doing very nice with it so we turned back and got this boat instead. It was a dirt track up a cliff. Yeah, I'm glad we turned back because so we wouldn't have got this boat. absolutely panicking, he was cogging it. Yeah. We shouldn't have done this, we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> He was I, like, well, we have, so you I, have to deal with it now. We shouldn't have done this, we shouldn't have done this. I should have vlogged it, it'd have been funny. Oh, it would have been funny. Ah, oh, this water looks bliss. So we've set sail. We have. And we're just leaving from my mum and dad, just leaving the harbour. We're not going to find them because we're nowhere near them yet. Oh, that breeze is amazing now. So how long for this first stop then? No idea.
are you doing now? We're back in the room. I'm trying to get my shoes on. But my belly's that fat I can't bend over. Well, I didn't like to say. Uh, uh, so we're back in the room, back from the cruise, which was very nice. Very, very, very hot. Very hot on the way back. There was no breeze. Oh, it was, it was today. There were times today that I thought that yeah. I was going to last another five minutes and I thought we were going to pass out of the heat. Because <laughs> I really thought it was that hot that it would have just wouldn't make it. And we got told off by some Russians for eating their dinner. Well, you did. You told me to go get some. So, we're going out for our evening meal. We're going to the buffet tonight, and it, the theme is Polynesian food. Hawaiian. So I imagine there's lots of pineapples. Pineapples. Mm. What, in a luau? Look how brown you are compared to me. It's because I always um, cover up with Fact 50 and a hat. You enjoyed your um, cruise today? Yes, but I would never come back here at this time of year again. It's far, far too hot. Don't come to Cyprus in July or August. Oh, no. It's much better. I mean, we didn't really think about the heat when we, when we booked it. Because I got that all clear from the spleen thing, we just thought, right, let's go on holiday to we're celebrate. We didn't really sort of give the heat two-minute thought. Uh, but it is too hot. Far too hot to do anything. So for the next two days, we're just going to have a, a beach day. We're mm. going to chill. Yeah. Under the umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella? Umbrella, then. Yeah, but it is. I mean, all in the sun. Because you it's cannot hot. beat that view. If you ever come to Paphos, book into the Olympic Lagoon Hotel. It is beautiful. So tomorrow we're actually going to film. Oh our God! You keep saying travel this. guide holiday tour of the hotel, and it will be a day version and a night version, so you get to see what it's like both day and Good. night. Good. Well, but it won't be in the style of vlog that we usually do. Music. Our just be music. It'll be us kind of showing you around, but it'll be mainly sort of like a, a tour. And if it never happens, I'll cut all this bit out. Let's go and get a gin and tonic and right. then go for his meal. Oh, no, I can't. What are you doing? Your hair's coming. You took your time. Is that, a, is that a gin and tonic? Yeah. We're going straight for food. Polynesian. Bye. Bye. Mmm. Meatballs. I don't want to start. Let's start with the meatballs. Tell me if they're nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> really sweet and sticky. Mmm. Mmm. Fish with pineapple sauce. Polynesian, I'm liking it. Are you? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Thank you. So, Nick's finally got his apple pie and ice cream. But I want that. I want that. Hands off my cheesecake. I'm try it. Excuse me, you don't try mine before I've even had a bite. Just, it's, you're still so going to eat the majority Get lost. Of Let me in. You are oh, not having mine, you won't eat yours. Piss off. So, we've had dessert. We went to the American diner for the dessert, didn't we? And we're now back in the um, <coughs> the You and Me bar, which is our favourite place. I'm having a single And I'm having a gin and tonic before I have an apple martini. And I've just got to show you this again. We've shown you this before, but my God, this place is just absolutely stunning. Singapore sling. What's the Singapore sling? Cherry brandy. Gin. Oh, it's got gin in it as well. Gin. I don't know, it just tastes nice, that's right. You think I've been here a week, it will be educated. Anyway, I've got standard GNT and apple martini, but it's quite acidic. How boring. You don't even know what yours is. I had a, uh, an apple martini, and it was quite acidic and really, really sweet. So this is probably now going to be our last night in the cocktail bar, isn't it? Because of all the different food we've been eating this week, and the cocktail, when I had a pool this morning, it was green. I'm sure everybody just wanted to know that Lee's got green poo. It quite shocked me when I saw it. Thank you for sharing those insights. Anyway, this is probably going to be now our last night in the cocktail bar. We haven't been vlogging every day. Last night in the cocktail bar? So we've got two nights left. Are you vlogging for two more days then? We're going to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, but we'll definitely be in the cocktail bar more than once tonight. Back in the room. Oh. Right, well, let me just show you what I've brought over with me. Are you drunk or something? Are you taking a mickey? Oh, look what we've got. Chocolate on the pillows. Unfortunately, it's a bit rank chocolate, which is surprising for this hotel, Ooh. but 
I'm not, not actually I'm too not bad. keen. I'm not keen. They're not too bad. So, we were in the cocktail bar and I spotted on the menu that they had brandies. Not a keen lover of brandy, but this is a Five Kings brandy. £30 a bottle on Amazon and I've got a shot and it's made from wine. Mm. Double distilled wine. And it's quite nice. Do you want to try it? No, thanks. So, I've got this like Ooh, triple shot strong. to bring... Eh? That smells strong. I've got this triple shot to bring back to the room and uh, we're back now. So, we're going to end the vlog. So, if you're new to this channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget, don't forget to like our videos and share it with all your friends. And if you're not a patron, check out our Patreon link below and um, become see a patron. See you next time. On the, see you next time on the next episode. Bye. Go on, have a try your brandy. Mmm.